In this video, we're going to look at the grid edit modes in Pro Tools. There are two grid edit modes in Pro Tools, Absolute Grid Mode and Relative Grid Mode. The mode you're probably already familiar with is the Absolute Grid Mode. In this mode, any clip you move will automatically snap to the nearest grid boundary. For example, here I have a clip that starts slightly before bar 5. If I drag that clip to a new location on the track, it will automatically snap to the nearest grid boundary, and the slight offset will be lost. On the other hand, if I switch to relative grid mode and drag the clip to a new location on the track, the clip will be moved in intervals based on the grid setting, but the slight offset from the grid will be preserved. This can be quite useful when editing clips where there's a brief note or sound that happens before the grid. One little known feature in Pro Tools is the ability to separate clips on the grid. To do this, we simply select a clip, then go to the Edit menu, and choose Separate Clip on Grid. Then we have the option to set a pre-separate amount, which can help to preserve the attack transients of notes. A typical value to enter here would be about 5 milliseconds. Then I'll click OK to separate the clip. And now my clip has been separated into new clips at the grid interval. This feature can be used in conjunction with clip groups and track time-based settings to imitate Rex file functionality in Pro Tools. So that's an overview of the grid edit modes in Pro Tools.